сделала, но жить это предстоит. Да, он написал дела, и таким образом я Temporary, maybe you can just leave it for now like that. Little or not. It's a mm -hmm. I had always been living in a city. When I was a teenager, I went to the mountains for the first time. And the trip left me with the longing to live in a mountain region. But I never considered it as a life plan. I thought I will always live in my apartment in Poland. Or maybe I will move to India, where I traveled a couple of times to deepen my spiritual process. During my last stay in India, in 2021, I've met Tatiana. I was born in Moldova, in a little village, surrounded by woods and agricultural lands. In my childhood, I didn't have the chance to know that nature is something different from my life. I lived surrounded by soil, trees, water streams, animals. In summer, I was walking barefoot, and feeling the sensations under my feet was so enjoyable. Sometimes winters were very hard. Enough firewood, warm clothes, shoes, and good provisions of food were needed in order to winter well. And then, at the age of 15, I moved to Italy. And so many things changed. I landed in a completely different world. Here, supermarkets, branded clothes, many cars, distance between people, and especially, always running somewhere. As a teenager, I tried to do my best to adapt as quickly as possible to the new lifestyle, and I did manage. But after 15 years, at the age of 30, I started dreaming about living again in nature. And it has been burning within me more and more strongly. And this is the first day of a new life. But not just for us. Ah, 
because Marina and Sergio met each other when we were in India. Yes, before she met Sergio, my mother was living in a different region of Italy. Then she moved to Abruzzo to live with him. Together, they are taking care of Silvia, Sergio's mother. So, we met them as a couple just last summer when we came for a visit. During that vacation, they shared with us that they were looking for a little house in nature. But so far, they couldn't find anything suitable. Actually, after months of research, it felt like they are losing their faith. Yeah, we also went few times with them to see some places, but again, nothing sensible. Then, one evening after dinner, Sergio found a property. Not so far from their place. Nice, but with little too much land and quite expensive. The strange thing, apart from the stone house, there is a little chapel on the land. Few days later, we went there. is also known as the green lung of Europe because half of it is covered by national parks and nature reserves. So, in Abruzzo, you can be in touch with wild nature, visit ancient towns, discover the very origins of Italy. You can enjoy beautiful beaches on the Adriatic Sea. Yes, you can hike, ski, bike, swim, being surrounded by breathtaking sceneries. Actually, they say that Abruzzo is the Italy's best kept secret. Why? Because not many people know about the treasures that this region offers. What's great about this property is that it's very well connected just 15 minutes drive from the highway, two hours from Rome, and only 40 minutes from the airport of Pescara, from which you can reach the major European cities and also those within Italy. This place is surrounded by mountains. But in the sunny days, even the sea is visible from here. And this is La Quelia. The place is called Corvara. In this comune live less than 200 people at the moment. Corvara has an incredible history. And we want to discover it. The moment we reached the place, I was overwhelmed by the silence and peacefulness of the area. Such a stillness that you cannot miss. I could not believe it. The only similar experience I had was when I was visiting temples in India. This is 
questa che per adesso la lasciamo qui and this house yes it's half pink we will deal with it later but i love the organic curvy shapes of the walls We don't know how old is this house. But it can be even older than 200 years. The previous owners did not live here permanently.
and the chapel. It's still a mystery for us. The land is 1.6 hectares, around 4 acres. There are more than 100 olive trees there, and most of them are very old. There are also some fruit trees, like figs, persimmons and nuts. Però prima la dobbiamo far seccare perché questo non puoi prendere e metterlo al fuoco. It was love at first sight for all of us. And it's great, because this place needs a lot of love in order to flourish. Prendi là e tira. Opla, scusa. Tira a terra. Ok, ok. Aspetta, fa metti la mano anche a Uca. Prendi un po'. Oh, queste serviranno. Dove ci serviranno? Spostiamolo su. Dove? Spostiamolo su, così. Qui. Possiamo anche lasciarlo qui no? per adesso. Deve asciugare un po'. Si deve asciugare, sì. And I'm not even speaking Italian. Grande. This is grande. There is a treasure. There is a treasure. What is this? It's it's a copper pot. Really? Wow. Yeah, it can, it can be put on the fire. Thank <laughs> you. 
Scortica, più bene. un attimo, è bello, viene molto bello, viene. Pronto? Pronto, pronto. Eh, cosa, cosa Ricco il cemento, perché poi dopo tutti questi buchi vanno riempiti con il cemento. Questo è stato tutto così. Sì. Sì. Non capisco. 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 Silvia is 94. She is amazing. She still works in the garden, plays cards. And here she is making a crochet table runner for us. We were so excited. There is so much potential there. But Serge and Marina had some concerns. They knew that they will not manage such a project on their own. Then they asked us. Are you in? Of course we are in. It felt like all of our dreams are coming true. The buying process took around five months. In the meantime, we traveled to India and got married for the first time in our life.
wet also but now it's dry and it goes all the way to here yeah. вот такую you go outside and две. take две. тут перед домом есть okay. Okay. Unfortunately, this did not work. Buon appetito. Buon appetito.
Ну, да Угу. Ну, ну, ну. Marina. Dovrebbe bastare. Andiamo a prendere il palo. Con questo non fai niente. Non va bene. Non posso spingere, capito? Questa non va. Non va
dentro c'è il livello Così? Sì, va? Per aprire? Sì, perfetto. Così. Segni. Sì, Solo per te. Bene, così? Sì, sì. Come sì. fai? And here we met our new neighbor friend. Thank you. 
Ah, allora vanno levati tutti i polloni che sono qui sotto, noi qui sotto non ce l'abbiamo, e tutti questi qui, succhioni. Solo quelli piccoli vanno lasciati, questi, perché questi portano la linfa su in alto. Questo qui si toglie? Sì. sì. Questo qui? Sì, sì. sì. Di ecco, bravo. Da qui? Tutto, sì. tutto, tutto. No, così va bene. Da onde? Ah, ok. Se vanno giù Ragazzi, non si tagliano. Ora spiegami la... No, la prima era la giusta che la facevamo noi. Ora vediamo qual è la... la, la... Aspetta, ok. Dai. Allora, ora qui dobbiamo lasciare, praticamente l'ideale è che la branca parte da qui, principale, parte da qui, si prolunga e va fino a su in cima, senza avere tante ramificazioni e tante ideali. Qui sono troppi, allora noi dobbiamo levare per lasciarli alla distanza giusta, Lasciamo, leviamo questo, allora qui rimane la distanza fra questo e questo. Questo serve per arieggiare l'ulivo dentro. Perché se no non fa. Deve avere sole e aria. Dentro deve essere pulita. Perché gli ulivi che li fa, li fa di qua di fuori. Quelli che scendono in giù. Vedi? Questo ramo che abbiamo tagliato era già all'interno, era già morto, era non passava più la linfa internamente. Come fai a vederlo? E da qui è... non è più pieno. Mm, ok. Ora ogni ramo dobbiamo lasciarle la cima. Dobbiamo decidere quale è più bella o più dritta. Deve essere a 45 gradi. Mm non deve stare in su, deve essere sempre inclinata un ramo mm -hmm. di questi qui questa? e questo qui no? si leva? no, 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 no. Ah, ok Su. qui questa va in su vedi? questa va in su, va levata questa va in su, levata questa va dritta in su, va levata che proprio partono e vanno su vanno subito in su, in alto ma chi è che farà questo? Questo è qua che bagno, questo è qua, questo, questo, questo. Ora questo fra un mese è proprio vegetativo. Vegetativo. Vegetariano. Vegetariano. Allora.